Hello my dear family members, today we have come with an on-demand topic for Accenture latest drive that is common application and MS Office. Actually coding questions might be available outside but this subject is not available. That's why I thought to upload the recent questions so that it will be helpful for you. Okay, so let's start without any bug bug. Okay, so the first question is this right. So in Excel, what does the index match combination function primarily do? looks up values in a vertical direction, performs a vertical search in a range and returns a value from the same row or performs a horizontal search in a range and returns a value from the same column or retrieves a value at the intersection of a specified row and column in a table or row. Okay. So uh, if you, you, you have to know about index match function both so that you can answer this very easily right so i have already discussed about these functions which was the playlist of accenture so that it will be easier to you to uh, to answer right so the correct answer will be uh performs a vertical search in a range and returns a value from the same row right so i hope you understood okay so this is the correct answer so the next question is which excel function allows you to perform calculation based on multiple conditions if and or or if error this is the recent question so i hope it will give importance to these questions right actually uh, this seems to be very easy but this was actually asked right so i hope you understood what's the question is so the correct answer will be and right if you use and then it allows you to perform calculation based on multiple conditions right Okay, so the next question is what is a named range in Excel? A range of cells that is assigned in a unique name for EG reference in formulas, a range of cells that contains only numeric values, or a range of cells that is protected from editing, and a range of cells with specific formatting applied. So I hope you will give the answer. I am not going to give the answer. This is a quiz question for you. Please give the answer, right? So what's the correct answer? I'll wait for you whoever is giving the answer first right okay so the next question is how can you create dynamic drop down list in excel using the data validation feature with a fixed range using the data validation feature with a name range or using the index match function combination or using the concatenate function what will you use to create a dynamic drop down list in excel please pause the video think a little then give the answer okay so the correct answer will be using the data validation feature with a named range right so b will be the correct answer okay so if you faced any issue if you want to know about uh, these functions these uh, facilities of excel then let me know i'll create a separate playlist of this right okay so the next question is what is the purpose of the indirect function in excel to calculate the sum of values in a range to convert text to uppercase to return the reference specified by text string or to count the number of cells that meet specific criteria so the correct answer will be what i'm giving you some time please think about it and then give answer okay so the correct answer will be to return the reference specified by a text string right so c will be the correct answer c okay so i hope you understood the next question is how can you use the sum product function in excel to calculate the sum of two ranges to calculate the sum of products of corresponding values in two more arrays or to calculate the sum of values based on a single condition or to calculate the sum of values based on multiple conditions before i give the answer i would recommend you to have the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the coding questions all the ms office and cloud based questions which are important for upcoming App, uh, drive right so to get that knock me at waste id instagram.com slash techno.tf you will get it and please be mindful this is paid okay mm -hmm. so the next question sorry the answer is what to calculate the sum of product of corresponding values in two or more arrays right so option b will be correct okay so the next option the next question is which excel feature allows you to analyze and visualize data in real-time dashboards most of the questions are from excel uh, i mean 99 uh, percent uh, questions are from excel so next session will be from another ms office application so please be tuned and please subscribe this so that you can get the latest updates okay so the correct answer will be 
from pivot tables power query power pivot or power bi which will be the correct answer which features allows you right so the power bi features allows you to analyze and visualize data in real time dashboard right so i hope you understood so the next question and the last question is a quick question for you which excel tools is used for dynamic data analysis and summarization charts named ranges pivot tables and or conditions conditional formatting what will be the correct answer so i am very eagerly waiting for your response please give the answer in the comment section please motivate me commenting more right so i hope this much of discussion is also helpful to you if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and if you want more such content then please recommend me in the comment section that you want more ms office questions more ms office solutions right so so that i can aware of that okay so thank you for today's session